So you're looking for more information about Google's brand new custom audiences? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how they work. So you definitely wanna stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you wanna learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said we're gonna jump right into today's content all right so I'm inside of the Google Ads manager all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go up here to the notification tab and show you what popped up um, you know while I was advertising I was checking on like my you know my data and stuff and I noticed that this popped up over here so it says custom audiences now available with the launch of custom audiences your custom affinity and custom intent audiences have been automatically migrated so if you're an experienced you know person who've been running ads with Google then you know in the past there was custom intent and custom affinity so what they did is they migrated that and now it's called custom audiences but there's a couple of differences um, with the custom audiences all right all right, so now how what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click view to go over to the audience manager. But if you're watching this and you're a little bit newer um, and you don't know how to get there, then what you want to do first is you want to go up to this little uh, this little wrench and then you want to click on shared library and then you want to go to audience manager. All right, so if I click on this, it's gonna take me where that would have took me. All right, so now you can see up at the top audience manager and then you can see remarketing and custom audiences. So we're gonna go over to custom audiences and then you can see right here, I already have an audience, a audience um, that I already went ahead and created. Now I created this at the time when there was custom infinity and custom intent. Yeah, as you can see right there, it says February 6, 2020 was when I created this specific audience. All right, so now let's get into um, you know like the, the the differences of how it looked you know prior and how it looks now so if i click on the plus you can see right here it says new custom audience and then we will go ahead and put the name right here of the audience and what we want to call it and then now it says include people with following interests or behaviors so if you're experienced you know it looked a little bit different than what this looks like but as you can see now it says people with any of these interests or purchase intentions so what does that mean? So as you can see here, enter keywords describing your ideal customer's interests or products and services they are actively, that's the keyword right there, product and services they are actively researching to buy. So this is gonna be based on interest and it's also gonna be based on purchase intentions. So getting you in front of the right people who are actually gonna to wanna to make, you know, take action on what you have, all right? So that's that. So now let's go into, you know, typing in a couple of different niches, uh, maybe some purchase intentions. So what I'm going to start out with is I'm going to start out with whole life insurance. OK. All right. So let's say, for instance, you're trying to get in front of people who have an interest in buying whole life insurance. So you can see right here, whole life insurance policy quotes whole life insurance policy rates. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cl uh, click on whole life insurance policy quotes. All right, so you can see from the audience insights over here, it says weekly impressions is 100 million to 500 million. Now keep in mind, um, that's not necessarily gonna be yours. They're just giving you the full range. Now this is gonna be based on your marketing objective and also uh, your bidding strategy. So whether you're putting in $20 a day, maybe you're doing $15 a day, maybe you're doing $1,000 a day, whatever it is that you're advertising, of course the numbers will vary. All right, so you can see right here, 54% of this audience are male. So that's something you wanna keep in, 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 in contact. And of course, um, you could actually look at what the females are as well. So you can see the audience, this audience has 46% of females, all right? So these are things like when you're creating your ad, um, some things you want to keep in mind, how to speak to them, and so on and so on, all right? And then 28% of the people are twenty between the ages of 25 and 34, and then the parental status. So we can see that 57% of the people that are in this audience are not parents, all right? And then the topic. So this right here is uh, what you want to pay attention to. This audience visits websites related to these topics. So remember, 
It was whole life insurance policy quotes. So we can see the people that are visiting the websites, they're looking at life insurance, insurance, and finance. So we can know that if we use this audience that will be created, we know that we would be, we would be getting in front of the right type of people who are more likely to take action on what you have, all right? Of course, you know, depending on how you got your whole sales process um, pretty much worked out, all right? All right, so that's one audience. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to find people who wanted to do some real estate investing, right? So let's see, real estate investing. Let's see what pops up. All right, so invest in real real estate investment trusts, R E I T S, uh, real estate investment trust companies, real estate investment. Uh, I think R E I. -T okay, so yeah, that that is what that is. All right, so buying real estate investment properties and so on and so on. So if I click on any one of these, let's just go with uh, properties. All right, so you can see it gives us over here, it gives us the insights. Just give it a few minutes for it to populate. All right, so for this one, 1 billion to 5 billion weekly impressions. 56% are male, 27% are between the ages of 25 and 34. The parental status is 58%. Um, for non-parents, and then we can see this audience visit, visits websites related to these topics. So investing, real estate, finance, real estate listing. So those people are actively researching this stuff right now, all right? So that right there is powerful because you know you will be getting in front of the right people. All right, so let's go down to the other one. So you can see right here it says, people who search for any of these terms on Google, okay? only on campaigns running on Google properties. So if it's not on Google properties, what will happen is it'll default to using this. So that's pretty much what this says. It says on other campaigns, terms will be used as interest or purchase intentions if it's not on Google, okay? All right, now over here, pretty much the same thing. I'm just gonna use real estate investing. And then the only thing it's not gonna show um, it's the topic. So you see it still shows gender, age, and parental status, but since it's Google-based um, properties only, it can't tell, it, it's, it's not going to be tracking like the other websites that people are visiting, all right? So I just wanted to clarify that, you know, before we move on. All right, so boom. So that that's how that one works. This one, it expands not only on Google properties, but it goes to other different websites. So you can pick up, you know, other forms of traffic. And then over here, this is Google based only. Okay. All right. So now let's get into, you know, expanding your audience even more. So you can see right here, it says people who browse types of websites. So let me give you a perfect example. So I'm in the online marketing space, right? So I know that if, if I'm, you know, if I have some type of offer, right, I know that if I look for people who go to clickfunnels.com, right, people who are, who kind of fall in that same type of realm, like, let's say, for instance, I go to www.clickfunnels.com, right, all right, I know if I create an audience based around people, and let me make sure I put this on what it needs to be, as of right now, you can see it's not really giving me anything, but if I go to this one, which expands to other websites, you'll be able to see weekly impressions, 5 billion to 10 billion. Okay, we have 56% are male, 28% um, are between the ages of 25 and 34. Um, parental status, 62% of this audience are not parents. And then the topics, um, this audience visits websites related to these topics, marketing, business and industrial and advertising and marketing. And if you know anything about ClickFunnels, we know the people who are using that are gonna be falling around, pretty much in those, uh, they're gonna fall in that particular, those particular audiences, all right? So um, another thing that you could do with this is you could just like, let's say for instance, you're in a credit repair, right? And then you want to get in front of Lexington Law's audience. Well, you can go www, let me make sure I'm typing this right, www.lexingtonlaw.com. All right, and then it's going to give us the data on that. So 1 billion to 5 billion, 58% of the audience, we got the age, we got the parental status, and then this is what you always want to pay attention to, uh, pay attention to is the topics, because although you may choose something, 
it's going to show you over here exactly who you're going to be put in front of. Now, if you notice that maybe two out of the three are not really what you want, I wouldn't necessarily go with that audience. But in this case, we can see Lexington Law, and then we can see credit reporting and monitoring, uh, credit and lending and finance. So we know, once again, we're getting in front of the right type of people. All right, so that's Lexington Law. So let me go ahead and get out of this. So that is the websites. So now let's go down here to the apps. So this is understanding like what type of apps are your, your, your target audience actually spending quite a bit of time on. So that would be you know up to you to do your research on, okay, where are they spending most of their time? Let's try to get in front of them, all right? So that's pretty much how that would work. And then all you would do is just type the app, okay? And, and this is based on the Google Play Store. So we know there's the YouTube app. Right, you have, you know, let's 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 type, let's see if TikTok comes up. All right, boom. So we got TikTok coming up. You got multiple different apps. Now, as of right now, um, the apps they won't give you any audience insights data. So, like for example, if I were to type TikTok again and choose TikTok, you're gonna see estimates are not yet available for uh for mobile apps in places. All right, so keep that in mind. It probably will, you know, happen over time, but as of right now, it is not. Uh, showing you anything all right so those are the apps and then people who visited certain places so this is getting even deeper into who your target audience really is and where do they spend their time physically okay so for example do your target does your target um, audience actually spend time on a golf course all right so you can see here golf courses country clubs sporting goods stores sports and fitness ven uh, venues arcades, um, vehicle sales and services. Let me let me see if something else will come up. Nail salon, let's see if anything, okay, boom. Nail salons, beauty and wellness locations, cosmetics, business, um, tanning salons, hair salons and barbers. So if you really know where your people hang out, like physically hang out, you can start you know, positioning your ads in front of them while they're just you know doing their thing, right? So these are things that you wanna think about like as you're doing, as you're creating these audiences, um, as you're putting together your video ads or, you know, whatever form of advertising you're using, all of this stuff comes into play. That's why it's so important to understand who your, um, who your true target audience is. And you have to know them better than they actually know themselves. Okay. So that is literally how the custom audiences, um, the new setup, the new migration actually works. Um, hopefully you got something from this video and if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up Also drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable and with that being said um, I left my YouTube ads playlist down below in the description box definitely check that out I have multiple videos showing you how to run YouTube video ads and pretty much Everything that you would need to know in in, in regards to that. All right, so you definitely want to stick with me um, you know and continuously watch my videos. All right. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video Peace